guys, kamusta? So, welcome back. If you don't know me yet, my name is Brian Peel and this is my channel, The Hungry Dad. Don't forget to follow me on my social media, which I have down here. So today, we're here at Chinatown here in Adelaide at Goodger Street and we're having lunch at a place called Chow Chow. This place used to be San Churros and um, they've done some renovation. They've done a really good job about the whole place. They've had like white towels on the tables and everything and we're having a Chinese hot pot. But this is quite different compared to the other hot pots where you cook it in front of you. Here, you put it in a bowl, you get tongs, you put all your stuff in it, and then you give it to them. You choose your um, soup base, and then you choose your spice level, and then they cook it for you, and then they bring it to you here on the table and ready for you to eat. So, I'm going to show you what I have, and we're going to get on it. Get your tongs, which is this, and then you get your bowl, which is not really a bowl, it's more of a tray. But they've got their logo on it as well, which is cool, cute. They've got like fresh vegetables that you can pick from and you just put it in your bowl. So they've got Chinese cabbage, all of the greens that you can see. They've got a lot of choices for mushrooms. My favorite one is the enoki mushrooms. They got some bean sprouts as well. They've got a lot of stuff. They got like um, fish balls, prawn balls, crab balls, meatballs, everything. Your instant noodles. They've got some tofu. They've got some crab sticks, um, they have some sausages, some eggs, more tofu, and here they got their pork liver, tripe, pig's ears, tendon, shank, oh they got some prawns, they got some crawfish as well, you got your crabs, your beef omasum tripe, uh, squid, tentacles, mussels, they even got some baby octopus, fresh prawns, duck paws, Chicken heart, beef, chicken gi gilbert, or I don't know, and pork. In this area, they've got your seaweed salads. Um, you've got all the other noodles, all the other kinds of noodles that you can have. So they come in packs, which is good. So at least, you know, this is good for one serving. And then they've got their drinks. My favorite drink as well, of course, is the um, soy milk. And then this is where you get your um, frozen beef lamb, fish, ox tongue, pork and chicken. You can see here Fiona's getting what she wants for her and Brianna's food. She's just picking whatever she thinks will be good. So it's it's a hit or miss because you don't know some of them because you haven't tried them but it's it's there for you to try. So on my bowl I got myself some bok choy or pak choy. I got some inoki mushrooms, some baby octopus, some squid tentacles, some tofu sheets, lotus, a lot of like the fish balls with like roe in it, beef tendons, um, chicken heart and chicken giblets, tendons, and then some tripe and some lucky dips. Now I'm gonna put some noodles on mine this time because the last time it was too much, so now this should just be enough. So here, that's the three steps. You select your ingredient, wait and pay, and personalize your flavor. They've got two different kinds of soup. Um, so you have your original spicy hot pot, which I got. I just got the medium one. Then you have the Sichuan spicy hot pot, which is really spicy. And then they also got your unlimited Coke, which is good because you're going to need a lot of drink for that. Tables are really cool. It's like tiles. Here is where you make your own sauce to dip your food into, your meat. So we're going to make my sauce. Let's see, we're going to experiment some flavors. So I'm going to be putting sesame dressing, lots and lots of coriander, oyster sauce, oyster sauce. And then we're gonna get some of this stuff, which is salted leek. Then we're gonna put some soy sauce, of course. Can't go without soy sauce. My bowl is here, it's massive. Look at that. It's a lot of food in there. So this is the food that I got. So I showed you a while ago what was in it, and now that's that. Look at that, it's massive. So this is the chopstick, just so you can look at it, how big the bowl is. But this isn't really the biggest bowl they have. The last time I went there, I had the bigger bowl. But they've got all of everything that I put in. Ooh, it's still hot. Look at that steam. Excited to eat. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go have our first bite at this. We're gonna go try the broth first. So excited for this. What? Ooh. So I just got the medium one. It's still got a, a bit of spice on it. So if you're not really a big spicy kind of person, just choose the mild one or maybe the non-spicy broth because I have that as well. Which is my which is what my daughter's eating now. But the broth is 
it's not too overpowering but it's got this distinct flavor to it it's really nice it's a bit oily so you know you gotta have to give your options you like good food you like oily food but it's it's worth it trust me oh, it's soup is perfect um, they got all other stuff in here that I got to be honest with you I don't really remember all of them but I'm really keen though. however I did not get noodles like I told you a while ago it's, it's a bit too much uh, Fiona got some noodles maybe I get some from her later Okay guys, that's the um, fish bowl with roe inside. It's really good. It's one of my favorites. So I don't know if you can see, but inside there's got they got some um, something inside. It's the roe inside. We gotta try it here, guys. Put it in our own made sauce, which is quite salty. Too much sesame paste and um, soy sauce in it. Bye bye. But still good. Just put a little bit. And here is our squid tentacles. Can't go wrong with that. It's not overcooked it, so it's not chewy. When the soup was when the soup was still very hot, every time I have like a bite of the food or have a little bit of the soup, my mouth, my my tongue, my lips was going numb. But as the soup was getting a little colder, uh, the numbness in my tongue and my mouth lessened as well. It's just that I think it's one of those spice things that the Chinese broth would have. But don't want to complain because it's still good, really good. Bean curd sheet, never heard of this before but I love it. I wonder what this one is. Ah, more fish roll. <laughs> of course. I'm halfway done with my lunch and I must say I'm a bit full but we need to soldier on and eat all of it all right guys so that's it I've conquered the chow chow hot pot soup bowl it's all done just a little bit of soup but that's okay all right guys so I'm done today had the, had the food for lunch had a lot of soup had a lot of meal um, I don't know what to say, it was really good, it was really tasty. The soup was not overpowering, but um, enough flavor in it for me to actually enjoy it. Um, in the beginning, the more you had, the number your tongue and your lips would be, but as you go along, you get more of, more of the flavor, and then the soup gets a little bit of cold, colder, so you actually taste more of the flavor instead of it being numb. The meat and everything else that I put in there was perfect, everything was there, so it's not bad. It's, it's a good experience actually, and I really enjoyed this experience. The place is amazing, the staff is amazing. I would definitely recommend you guys coming over here if you feel like you want to have a soup and you want to have what you want in that soup and having your nice broth as well. It's a good experience. And um, that's about it for me. So until the next time we meet and a new restaurant here in Adelaide. So remember, live to eat and stay hungry. Ingat! <laughs>